I'm Robert Therrell. I'm Chase Bridges. And we both want to be screenwriters. So listen along as we find out how. Each week we'll outline a new short film. And maybe even write some of our favorites. This is Written By. Welcome back to Written by Podcast, the number one podcast in the world. Right behind all the other ones. Right behind the other ones. Guys, it's season three premiere. Season man. Trace. See, yeah, Trace. I thought you were about to say two, and I was like, no. Bro, no, no, it's season three. Gosh, the, it's Written by Podcast. I'm, I'm Jimmy Store. <laughs> I was the, <laughs> shopping the window. I thought you were going walking at first. No, but... walking. Welcome to Written by Podcast. <laughs> The number one. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't usually drink energy drinks, but I drank one before this because I was like, I gotta get hyped for the premiere. And then we yep. spent over an hour getting everything set <laughs> yeah, up. Exactly. And so but I we got it. a new video set up. Yeah, and it looks you can good. watch this if you're watching on Spotify, which I recommend because we get more money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're watching on Spotify, oh by the way, I got these sunglasses on because our future's so bright this season, big dog. Let me tell you what we got going on. What we got going on, Chase? Um. What was I saying before I interrupted myself? You too. Uh, yes. You, so you can either watch on Spotify or you can watch on YouTube.com backslash written by pod. We should tell them about all the things that's happening this yeah, season. Yeah. We tease big changes for season three. and We're delivering on that's that. Right. Video is one of them. Yeah. Video is a big one. The YouTube channel growing that is another. We also, two other major changes. First yeah. of all. Last yeah. season for Last season. bowl episodes, yeah. <laughs> we didn't have as many listener suggestions as picked. we would have liked. Yeah, yeah we that were picked pick out more. of the bowl. And so we decided we wanted to find a way to have listeners get picked more frequently. So, yeah, bro, because y'all a bunch of pick me girls, dog. <laughs> what we're doing is we have created a whole second bowl. We don't have just one bowl now. We, we have got two. two bowl. They're we have matching. a whole other bowl. Yeah. I just happen to have a lot of these at my place. <laughs> but so we have a second bowl that is just for listener suggestions. And we will have special episodes where we pick out of this bowl so that we're guaranteed a listener a suggestion. A listener suggestion, which leads us into our next announcement. Exactly. If you want to support us, we're not going to push it like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say that and then like <laughs> every episode about gonna, the time. Uh, so we do have a Patreon set up and for $5 a month, you know, a cup of coffee. That's what, that's <laughs> that's what, what everyone like, says. Hey, yeah. Just one cup of coffee a month. You can help support the pod, man. <laughs> uh, so for $5 a month, you get, uh, we'll put your suggestion, you get priority suggestions, which just means we'll put your suggestion into the suggestion bowl uh, like two or three times. Exactly. So Wh that, whichever, we'll feel it out, but whichever feels yeah. about right, just so you have a higher likelihood of, of getting, getting picked. picked. Uh, we'll be picking names for characters from the Patreon. So if you're a, patri uh, a patron, then your name could be the name of one of our characters. Um, yeah. And also just name suggestions. And the really fun one is uh, you'll get access to our Discord where we're going to be joking around and, and talking about writing. Yeah, and just general shenanigans. Yeah, and boy. Yeah, we could share our work and stuff that we're doing. Just It'll be a really cool yeah. place. We're working on getting that set up as of recording this. But yeah, yeah that anytime we're stuck and we're like, oh, we need a character name. We're we'll going to have a big in. sheet yeah. of your suggestions if you're a patron. Yeah, or your name. Yeah. You know, it, or we'll hop in the Discord and be like, yo, what are we doing, boys? Uh -huh. We're recording right now, boy. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to hop on the Patreon, it's just written by the podcast. Yeah. And it's only a $5 tier. We aren't like yeah. really pushing anything yet. It's just we, we do have some lovely listeners that like to support us. And we thought yeah, we'd give them a little dude. place to do that. If you give, give them a, a few perks. If you want to give us more than $5, yeah, no we one's aren't stopping arguing. You, yeah. dude. you can give us $100 a month. <laughs> In you fact, could personally Venmo me. You don't even need to give to the podcast. <laughs> Let's cut yeah. Chase out of it. Yeah, I'm just the middleman, really. Last time uh, we did a job, I literally got paid the money and just sent it to Robert. And I was like, here you go, Robert. Yeah. Buy things. <laughs> it, was, it was for Undeserted, which also, man. That's our next big announcement. That's our next big announcement. We announced it at the end of last season, but we are working on making season two, episode three, I think it is, into a real 
short film. Just like we did with Trouble Date. Yeah. Uh, I don't know as of coming out exactly when, like what stage of the project we're in, but yeah. as of recording now, we're pretty close to nailing down a shoot date, so that's yeah. exciting. Big, We got a bunch of stuff happening, yeah. man. We're busy, busy boys. Uh, I'm in a movie. Oh, yeah, that man, that's the other thing. Over the hiatus, both Chase and I yeah. have gotten some really big opportunities in our respective non-writing fields. Yeah, so. and, and directing and acting. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you can talk really much about what I you're I can't really going. talk about the projects I'm doing, Let's but I'm directing two kind of big projects. It rhymes with Meven Mielberg. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> Beth <laughs> Clogan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working with Seth Rogen, and you're working with Steven Spielberg. No, uh, no. I'm in a yeah, I'm in a movie. I can't talk about yeah, it. Yeah, you can't. I'm in a movie called it. "Are You There?" Uh, it's a horror movie, independent movie. Um, by the time this comes out, I should have already shot it. Yeah. But uh, so you can check out my Instagram for more info. Speaking of which, follow Written by Pod on Instagram because we're gonna be posting hella clips, dog. Yeah. Unless so I really clips. drop the ball, but I don't expect I will. <laughs> no. I'm. <laughs> Yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff going on, dude. Yeah, but hey, that's all the big season three changes. Yeah. Enough housekeeping. Let's get to what this podcast is about. Let's get physical. We're physical. doing a classic bowl episode. From We're the bowl this week. We're going to draw from the bowl. <laughs> all right i have drawn from this bowl oh now we have to actually work i know yeah <laughs> dude it's been it's been months since we recorded be one a of little these. rusty boy yeah, since our christmas see. episode okay i've drawn all this says is fortune cookie <laughs> something revolving around a fortune cookie <laughs> Oh no! Which I I can't remember if I put this in or not. I might have. That's but what I was trying to think. I was yeah. like, did I do this? I have always thought it would be funny, like if you worked at the place where they made fortune cookies, <laughs> if you would like sneak in a really bad one every now and then, but like a negative, because they're always like motivational yeah. speaking. Yeah. Yeah, like, like what if some you opened a fortune cookie and it just said you're gonna die tomorrow or something? And so there are movies that use fortune cookies as like like Freaky Friday is a fortune cookie yeah, movie. Yeah, um, I think that might be it that mm. I know of. Okay, there's something we could do with this. There's something, yeah. Uh, or even like, what if it was like a thriller type thing where like. You know how an interstellar, how like the people seen it. could be. Oh, you haven't seen it. Okay. I'm going to. It's okay. the only Nolan movie I haven't seen. Oh, I yeah. Think. But like, what if someone was sending messages to someone else through fortune cookies? Oh, or that'd something? Be cool. Like they know that they eat Chinese every week. And so they're sneaking messages oh. or something like well, that. So, yeah, if you're the one working. All right. So Christmas Day, I sat in a Chinese restaurant waiting for my order for like two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. I had a great time. Oh, of course. I was just yeah. sitting there yeah. chilling, dude, and and the lady kept apologizing. Like people were uh, screaming at her because really? they had been waiting for two hours. Oh, man. People had been screaming at her, and she kept like looking at me and be like, "I'm so sorry, you should be up soon." I was like, "Don't even worry about. It. Take your time." Yeah, <laughs> I'm chilling. <laughs> uh, but I think from what I was witnessing at this Chinese restaurant is uh, they they get the order or whatever, and they the name's on the order, and then the yeah. guy loading it into the box grabs from a pile of fortune cookies and just tosses it in the bag. Yeah. So the guy working there could see their name, the name of the person he's trying ah, to communicate to, okay. and make sure that he puts a special fortune cookie into that bag. Okay. We can do a spy movie. Yeah. Or a short yeah. film. Or what if this dude that eats Chinese every day, he doesn't know it, but someone's trying to assassinate him. Ooh. And it's like they're trying to give him the clues to get him where he needs him to be. Yeah, but whoever's sending him the messages can't let it be known that they're talking to each other or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, we, we're on to something. Okay. Also, did you see our dope tapestry, yeah. dude? <laughs> dude! Dude! Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, we're on to something. So we, we okay. know that we want the someone to communicate with someone else through fortune cookies. Yes. 
And now we need to take a break for our sponsor. <laughs> we don't have sponsors yet. Hopefully we will. Be. Hopefully, I would yeah. We make man. a lot of money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's our main goal with this podcast. We don't, we don't do it for the love yeah. of the game. We don't do it for you. We do it for the money. Okay, I'm done. Yeah. That's actually why I put Fortune Cookie in here, so, so we could do a film like with Big Fortune Cookie and make a lot of money. Oh, that with way. Big Fortune yeah. Cookie. Yeah. Do you think that there's different Fortune Cookie brands? Because I don't pay attention. See, I don't know. I feel, I feel like there's like one major one oh, you that think like a lot like... of the independent Chinese shops use. Oh, and you think like I'm not big... sure about that. But it, it's like Do how the Chinese the shops, they always have the same like plastic bags. Right. Yeah, I bet like they, they have the, the same, same Fortune Cookies too. I wonder, so I wonder if there's like one company with the Monopoly. Yeah. And then there's like some struggling little companies and they're like, we just can't beat... Yeah. Whatever you would call it. What would be? The, I'm gonna look this up. What is the okay. biggest fortune cookie brand in America? Yeah. Well, while you're looking that up, uh, do we do we like? Dude is about to get assassinated, or do we? Is there something another scenario where you'd have to communicate through fortune cookie, or or yeah, it could why even are you be communicating through. It could even be like, have you seen? The first episode of the rehearsal. Yeah. Okay. So, I've seen all of the rehearsals. Yeah. Okay. Nathan Fielder needs this dude he's working with to do well at a trivia night. And so the way he and makes it do well yeah, is yeah, he yeah. threw out normal conversations and <laughs> scenarios he has orchestrated. He like includes the answers to the trivia questions. <laughs> or they'll be like walking by a building. <laughs> He's like, that's a tall building. He's like, yeah, not as tall as this one, which is actually the biggest <laughs> building in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude like it could be more low stakes <laughs> where it's like <laughs> he's trying to communicate something to someone without him knowing yeah we could have fun with this yeah so you <laughs> um there's always the an, ass- an assassination plot but that yeah. one i feel like could be a little rough because it's like what are you trying to tell him but we could do like a spy thing yeah where you're trying to give someone information without uh-huh. anyone knowing yeah. But I kind of like the idea of like the guy eating the fortune cookies not knowing. Exactly. Which makes yeah. it interesting. So what if what if it's not even like a super high staked thing? What if it's just like this dude is trying to control his best friend's decisions by like like maybe the friend like really believes these fortune cookies? Yeah. Or not even that, but it's like he's just a little superstitious. Like maybe he's thinking of moving across the country the best friend doesn't want him to move and so all the fortunes they're subtle like like think a lot before you make, make a, a big, big decision, decision or something uh, travel could be rough for you in this season and like the dude is starting to get swayed a little but he's still intent on moving and so the fortunes just get more specific to where yeah, yeah, finally yeah. it ends with like hey don't move to arizona or something. <laughs> and, and then the guy like runs <laughs> run, run, runs to his buddy's house and he's like dude yeah. it's a sign i'm not gonna move to arizona and then the best friend's like ah, dude i have to come clean yeah <laughs> it's been me sending you these fortune but i just really didn't want you to leave man you're my only mm-hmm. friend and and i i didn't know i felt like it was super selfish of me to ask you to stay yeah but okay let's throw let's throw the t- best friend dynamic out the okay. window yeah, it's uh, you know, like the classic rom com trope where it's mm-hmm. like the guy best friend of the girl yeah. and he's in love with her, or vice yeah. versa, she's in love with him. Yeah, let's have the main character be a girl. She's in love with her best friend, who's a dude, uh-huh. but he's about to uh, move. So he's he's had like a long distance girlfriend. Yeah, for the past like six months, and he's uh-huh. about to move to to a different state to be with her. Yeah. And this, our main character, she just doesn't like, she wants to profess her love, uh-huh. but she, she's too afraid Yeah, and she doesn't want to ruin the friendship. So she's doing it subtly through these fortune cookies. Yeah. And finally it ends with don't move to Arizona. Uh-huh. And he's like, what in the world? This is crazy. And she's like that. Then the big climactic moment is I've been sending you those fortune cookies. I love you. And I don't want you to go, but I felt selfish and blah, blah, blah. And he's like. Well, we could we could have a good one of two ways. We could go the classic way where he's like, "I love you too," and then they end up together. Or we can go the written by way, where uh, he goes, "You're a psychopath," and then leaves yeah. anyway. Yeah. 
Okay, I like where that's heading. Maybe he doesn't even come clean. I I like if it gets so obvious, it's to the point that she <laughs> she kind of figures it out. <laughs> uh, like maybe yeah, the it's long... like we have the gradual from like <laughs> this is a believable fortune cookie to very to specifically about her long distance relationships never work out. Yeah, and he's like, what? <laughs> And then it's like the next one's like maybe his long distance girlfriend is named Sabrina, yeah. and, and she's like, and, and then he opens it. And he's like, women named Sabrina are untrustworthy. <laughs> 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 or maybe she's even after the really specific one. She's freaking out a little bit. He or yeah, yeah, yeah he. he. And then she like goes to his or no, he goes to her house, and he's like, okay. Ever since the fortune cookie, I've been like freaking out. But yeah. what he doesn't know is right before he busted into her house, she was making more fortune cookies. <laughs> and so they're just right off camera in the other room and she's doing her best to like, she's got him exactly where she wants him, but she just needs to keep him from walking, from walking further it, in the yeah. house. Okay, let's get And him- then he sees all the fortune cookies laid out. It's like, you psycho! You <laughs> okay, let's give this them makes names. a lot of sense now. But let's give them names real quick so we don't get okay. confused. Now, patrons, this is the part where we would pick your right. names. So, but we record these in advance, yeah. so no one's signed up yet. Yo, what if no one does? That would be mad and bear. Hey, I got hit by a drunk driver yesterday. Oh, we completely glossed it. We were too busy with all our announcements. Yeah, we were supposed to record this last night. Yeah, but I got hit by a drunk driver. I was gonna. I, I forgot, but then my neck started hurting while I was listening to Robert. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah. Um, okay, so we, we need names. So the main character, mm-hmm. uh, what's the, <laughs> am I going to get in trouble for this? What's the name of a girl that's like just a little crazy that you know in your life? <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me, let me think. <laughs> Like, you know how, like, there's just, like... Let me think of someone who this won't get back to. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um... Like, you know how the, there's just some names that, like, everyone with yeah. the name, like, Jacob is yeah. a little hot-headed? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what's just the name you know, of like a like a Kyle name? and Karen type thing. Right. But, uh, like, she's not crazy. Yeah. She's just, like, passionate. Exactly. Yeah. The type of girl who would get a job at a Chinese restaurant just to send Honestly, messages. Honestly, I feel like Sabrina is that name. Sabrina could be it. Do you know any Sabrinas? I don't know a Sabrina. I, I know think. some Sabrinas. They, they would work at a Chinese yeah. restaurant and send messages? Well, I don't think she works there even. Maybe she's just like... Intercepting? Yeah. Maybe she's an Uber driver. No, because you could see who... No. I like that they... The Chinese restaurant is like their place they hang out, and it's like their thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how she knows that he's going to get a fortune cookie and read the fortune. Okay. Like, maybe it's the type of dynamic where every time people are done with their meals he's the one that's like okay what's your fortune say yeah 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 Yeah. okay so what if it all takes place every wednesday night they get together at one of their apartments and they watch their favorite show or whatever oh yeah and they order chinese and so every week they sit down with the chinese and then Uh she goes oh can you get me a napkin and he goes yep i'll get up and when he gets up to get her the napkin and this happens every week yeah she switches the fortune cookies (laughs) And so she just has a stash of fortune cookies. Yeah. That fr- <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that could be like her call to Jesus moment is she opens one of the real fortune cookies yeah. and it says your schemes are not working out or something like that. And she's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's, so Sabrina. Sabrina and who's the guy? Um, Hiram. How do you spell that? H I R A M. H I R A M. That's my sister's best friend. So nice. I said that. Okay. <laughs> my sister would do something like this. I think. <laughs> What's your sister's name? Allie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will stick with Sabrina. Yeah, we'll do Sabrina and Hiram. Sabrina and Hiram. Everyone. And then that way, the short film, like, because it is short film, we don't have a whole feature. The yeah. short is just clip. Like, it's like hyper cuts of every week of them setting the Chinese down. Yeah. And we're learning little bits yeah. each week. Yeah, so Sabrina and Hiram, every Wednesday, they hang out at her house, they watch this show together, and they eat Chinese. So Hiram is talking about how he's about to go move to Arizona. To be with his long-distance girlfriend. He's only been dating for six months. We don't want this to be like she's toxic. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's one of those things like, you know. 
She she's wears felt... short skirts. <laughs> yeah. I wear t-shirts. And she's felt a way about him for a long time, but has always been too nervous to admit it. Yeah, and cause... now it's starting to feel like this if is... it's going to happen, it has to happen now. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I mean, we've all been there. I've never been there. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither, really. But <laughs> yeah. So but we've all been there. We've all been. That's what Seinfeld. I've started watching Seinfeld. Oh, yeah. And he's just like, what's the deal with couches? <laughs> <laughs> we've all been there. Have you? I know you're not the biggest Pete Holmes fan, but have yeah. you ever seen his new material Seinfeld bit? <clears throat> no. <clears throat> he has like a Seinfeld style puppet. <laughs> and he just makes up Seinfeld esque bits. That does sound really funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah look, look them look up. That They're up, funny. Yeah. So Hiram is talking. He's about to move to Arizona with this girl he's known for six weeks. We could tell Sabrina feels a way about it. Yeah. And she's thinking in her head, we see her like mulling it over and feeling uncomfortable. But then that's when Hiram finishes his Chinese, opens the fortune cookie, says his fortune. It's like, hey, what's your fortune? She opens it. And then that's when she gets the idea. Maybe she gets the idea from her fortune cookie. Yeah. Like, what does her fortune uh, say? You should pursue all love. Pursue all love. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, me and Elizabeth get Chinese a lot. Uh-huh. And we're kind of like that. Like, we'll open oh, the fortune. Yeah? Like, I opened my fortune the other day, and it was like, you will do fin- well financially this year. And I was like, oh, good. Like, as if that <laughs> yeah. solved all my yeah. problems. <laughs> I was like, woo, woo. That nice. is- <laughs> <laughs> yeah so she opens it it says you should pursue all love and then that's, that's when, when she gets the idea click. and then we see her making the fake fortune cookie because this is the other thing i uh i watched an episode of great british bake-off or baking yeah. show or whatever where they had to make fortune cookies that's fun yeah they're really hard to make so I, she's got to like look up the recipe how to cook them and we get the montage of her like trying and failing to fold it <laughs> yeah, the yeah, right yeah. way yeah <laughs> this would be you know what this is this is like the perfect episode for a sitcom yeah totally like this is yeah. a sitcom episode and this is like the big uh will they won't they episode where it's finally yeah. up for the two characters that's been in love all season to exactly yeah <laughs> like a new girl yeah put zoe de chanel up in this <laughs> Dude, oh, I zoe de chanel I would do this <laughs> sorry <laughs> I, I, believe it. I don't know if we're a clean podcast or not the thing is is like i was thinking about this because yeah. like i curse a little in real life i curse a so lot be, yeah but <laughs> i don't know i feel i feel like part of me like wants to like fully be myself around here but also it's yeah. like we've gotten a lot of listeners who are like we listen to this yeah with, with our, our kids. kids yeah our kids enjoy it our kids oh, write man. stories after listening oh, yeah. so it's and like that just feels so yeah. nice and i don't yeah. want your kid to know the word <laughs> Because of that, we'll we'll probably keep it clean. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll we'll do PG thirteen. Yeah. All so right. like no more cussing this episode. Okay. Chase. <laughs> okay. So you should pursue all love. Yeah. She immediately looks at the fortune cookie. Looks at the fortune. Looks at him. And, and we, we just see her googling how to make fortune cookie. Yeah, yeah. She's experimenting in her kitchen because you have to. I forget exactly what it is like flour or like. I don't know. I haven't seen what that it's made of. I don't know. But all I know is like <laughs> you have to cook this thing and then really quickly before it dries, you have to fold it. Oh, so it's like difficult. Yeah. Okay. So we have a montage of her trying to cook that. Cooking and folding. Then... And then also she gets out. I feel like she's like a craft kind of girl. She has like the cutting board <laughs> and the really <laughs> nice paper. Yeah. And she's good at well, actually, she'd be printing them, but yeah, we see her like typing and printing out just like a ton of fortunes. Yeah. Like she has a bunch of different ideas. We well, and we see all of them; and they're all like vaguely, think carefully, don't move, or whatever type fortunes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or maybe we only see her make one. Okay, because I think that could add to the stress of like each week he's just not getting it. Oh, then, so maybe it builds on top of each other, and we build up to her like having just a ton of. Because I can see where like. The shot where he opens yeah. it and it says, "Don't make any rash decisions this month." Yeah, and he goes, and he goes, "Ah, oh, I don't know what that means or whatever." And then you see her face; she's like, oh. and then it hard cuts to her <laughs> hard typing. Hard cuts to her typing, and more. it's like, yeah. uh, "Moving should not be in your future." <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think yeah, we get, we kind of get the dynamic that way, where maybe. 
maybe three is too few. Maybe we need to see like we need we, five or six. The, the majority of the short should be pulling fortunes and type, yeah, uh, type typing a fortune. Pulling, he opening it and he says it and he's like ah, and then he's like ah, and then right back to yeah. <laughs> typing. So thinking about it like structure wise, like we need it to look like it's not working. And then for a little bit, oh, maybe it is working. And for a little bit, maybe it isn't. Yeah. We have a low point where he, like, talks about, he just brings up, like, oh, well, I've started packing already. Yeah. Or maybe he even, while they're hanging out, watching their show, their sacred time, he yeah. takes a phone call with the girl or something. Oh, and that's when she gets upset. And that's when she finally... Pulls the plug on the big one, like the most obvious yeah. one, the don't move to Arizona one. Don't move to Arizona. Or, or I think that there should be so like several of those like really obvious ones. So it's like don't move to Arizona is like really specific. Yeah. But yeah. Um, you could still get away with it. And then there's the ones like, w w uh, let's get a name for his long distance girlfriend. Oh, uh, uh, Katie. Katie. Okay. Uh, girls named Katie are cheating on you. <laughs> i feel like that one's almost like too <laughs> i feel like if i drew that and it was a name of someone i was dating i would be like okay what's up yeah He's messing with maybe that could be the most obvious. it's like a uh, girl's name katie or dump girls if you're dating a girl named katie dump her <laughs> and then that's when she that's when he's like okay what is this and then that's where she has her big like okay well well i thought i thought that like we were playing it that she manages to make it work. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he yeah, freaks yeah. out, comes to her house, and then that's where we get the fun of he's about to discover my giant, like, my kitchen <laughs> is full of fortune cookies dried. I have. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I forgot about that. Let's do that, let's do that. Yeah. But I, I, th I think Don't Move to Arizona is a good, like, one to end on. Yeah, that's And fair. then on the other end of the spectrum, maybe something about generally just, like, He's Put like, a lot of thought into your decisions or something. Yeah, um, moving is not in your future. I like that as like a second or third one. Yeah. yeah. Um, sometimes what you're looking for is right beside you. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Man. Hey, big fortune cookie, hire me, dog. Yeah. Which, by the way, I did look up the biggest fortune cookie distributor, okay. distributor in America, and it's yeah. Wonton Foods. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. All right, put a lot of thought into your decisions. Yeah. Sometimes what you're looking for is right in front of you. Moving is not in your future. So we're starting to get a little more specific. Yeah. What's some more specific ones? Um, I'm going to put that on the Instagram. Oh, nice. Um, some more specific ones are like um, rethink, they, relate, rethink current relationships. Rethink current relationships. That's good. Uh, Did you already get the sometimes what you're looking for is right yes, beside you? Yes. Um, um, What's like another aspect of it? Because like she's attacking all of the fears of moving, which is like maybe the move won't work out. Yeah. Maybe uh, the relationship won't work out. Uh, uh, financial, you'll, ha you'll, you'll have financial trouble soon. I like where that's going. That might not relate 100% to the... Yeah. Maybe maybe something like um, friendships are important. That could be one of the first ones. Okay. Or or even um, like uh, to live a balanced life, value your friendships over anything else. I don't know. So yeah. I'm trying to make it sound fortune cookie. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, bros before. <laughs> 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 um, I like like value friendships over anything else. That sounds yeah. Value friendships over anything else. <laughs> um and then maybe uh what what, are, what do you do when you move i'm about to be i bought a house man i've oh, got wow. a bunch of announcements Dang, yeah uh i'm about to be moving uh uh what's something that's like worrisome about like having to move like maybe uh i think well part of it is like if he's moving to a different state this girl is probably the only person there that he knows oh yeah he's leaving behind a bunch of people he knows here you'll have a hard time making new friends okay something make that like just a little more vague uh, You're like new friends are hard to come by yeah that's it because yeah because before it's like 
I'm going to have a hard time making friends regardless of if I move or not. I mean, but... we can even set it up to where, like, he says that, like, he's exactly, worried yeah, about we'll that. Exactly, yeah, we'll set up in between. Like, yeah. Each one of these will be inspired by the action. So, of the you last should, how's, the, how's the move going? Or how you, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited, but I'm kind of worried that, um, I'm kind of worried because, you know, she, uh, Katie's going to be the only one I know, and I'm kind of worried I'm not going to be able to make any more friends. And yeah. then next week, Fortune Cookies says, <laughs> yeah. new friends are hard to come by. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Okay. This is a great I, what a man. premiere, yeah. man. Okay, really let's get a, into it. Let's get another like funny specific one that's not as specific as "Don't Move to Arizona," but okay. is um, like right ahead of that. Yeah, just this side of "Don't Move to Arizona." <laughs> okay, so like, sp- <laughs> true, what, if, what if it's just like true love doesn't exist? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like maybe because maybe he says to her, he because at this point he's seen all these fortunes and he's yeah. like, he's like, you know, all these fortunes, man. Like I'm starting to <laughs> get a little, a little worried. Dark. Like what if it, what if this doesn't work? But and, he, and she's like, yeah, I mean, what if it doesn't? And he's like, but I just feel like you know this is true love and true love really exists. True love conquers all. And then the next week the fortune goes, true love conquers nothing. <laughs> 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 I like where that's going. I like where that's. It's a good direction. What's something better? Um, is there something? Well, okay. The only hang up with that is if true love doesn't exist, then that means it also doesn't exist between them. them. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Um, so what's true different... love might not be where you expect or something. Um. Uh. Okay, I like I like the vibe of that though. Like that's yeah, that's hitting the right direction. Because there's the true love aspect and there's the moving aspect. So maybe we need to target the moving aspect. Well, it. I think don't move to Arizona like, is that's the next true. one. So it targets the, the move. Next... So we need to target the something that's going on between them. Or maybe it's, maybe it's something like don't, uh, don't put more effort into a partner than they do for you or something like that. Because mm. maybe he feels like he's making a big, big choice a moving big for her. A big sacrifice for her. Or maybe it could be something like uh, you'll he'll miss fortune cookies when you're gone, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> oh, I I kind of like maybe a little more vague, like uh, you, you know, like a you never know what you have until it's gone type thing. Yeah, but something just a little a bit little more, more specific. specific. Yeah. So it's uh maybe maybe again we could do the thing with the conversation where he yeah. says something like uh, man, I'm really gonna miss our Wednesday night watching Riverdale. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, I mean, you never, you know, it's going to be really sad yeah. without having that every Wednesday. I look uh-huh. forward to it. And then the next week he opens the fortune cookie and the fortune cookie says, uh, um, when, what if it, what if it says something like, uh, uh, Wednesdays will never look the same or something like that. That might be too specific. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Uh, where did we start with this? What was my, we one? started with, uh, you don't know what True you have until it's exist. gone. Uh, you don't know what you have until it's gone. Making that a little more specific, I think. I I like him going. I'm, I am moving, but hey, I'll really miss Riverdale every Wednesday. Yeah, and then there's something in response to that. Maybe what if it just says, "I don't want to miss you." Wow, what a great name for this, by the way. I don't want to miss you. Uh-huh. Yeah, That's a yeah. Netflix rom com for sure. Yeah. Uh. Ooh, missing someone is a choice. Hey, that's it. Woo! That's it. That's it. <laughs> missing someone is a choice. I think we got all the fortunes we need. So let's just go in and figure out like what motivates each one. Yeah. And then that that's the structure, baby. Yeah, boy. We get the montage of her trying to figure out how to make the fortune cookie. She finally gets it down. We make a big deal out of her typing one singular fortune and it's put a lot of thought into your choices i have to edit out a lot of me typing in this <laughs> click, 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 click. click clack moo cows that type <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay so the the next day they're eating chinese she switches out the cookie and we see him pull out the put a lot of thought in your choices and he's like so may- maybe she like starts a little bit of conversation about moving or she like says something like 
So have you thought so, any more about moving? Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I think I'm, I, I'm leaning towards doing it. I know it's crazy, but I think I'm going to do it. Yeah. He pulls out the fortune cookie. Hmm. Put a lot of thought in your choices. And then she's like, and she's that's, like, wow, wow you, that, that's, you should really, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's wow. Really, now here's what I'm now. Here's a question. Okay, is she tampering with both fortune cookies or just his? See, I was thinking about that. I think it might be simpler to do just, just his. his because I imagine he would be like, "What's yours say?" And then she opens it, and, and it's, it's just, just like, something. It's just like a regular, like yeah. the sunshine shines most on a sunny day. <laughs> <laughs> you really do eat a lot of Chinese. Dude, I, I'm out here spitting, dog. <laughs> I like that. So I love. We should order Chinese for tonight, <laughs> dude. I've been craving Chinese. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Too bad we can't just like get it delivered here. <laughs> do you deliver to the studio? Okay, so. Put a lot of thought in your choices. He's on the fence, but it looks like he's going to do it. Mm -hmm. He pulls out the, put a lot of thought in your choices. He's like, oh, wow. (laughs) She's like, wow. Yeah, you should think about that. Then we see her go home. She starts typing up more stuff, makes more fortune cookies. Next Wednesday, they're eating Chinese. (laughs) And... He pulls value friendships over anything else. And I, I like if there's like just a shot of it's close up on the cookie and then it just yeah. kind of pans up racks focused. Ra- yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's like. And then in response to that, she's just kind of looking and we need the sense that she's trying to like push it a certain way but she knows not to push it too, too far. far she's just kind of smiling maybe she doesn't even say anything i like if she just makes eyes so maybe yeah she just oh because the look. next one is sometimes what you're looking for is right beside you so she's feeling good and she feels like this is really going to bring okay. it home but yeah. then the then ne- he goes then he goes he opens it he goes sometimes what you're looking for is right beside you Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before he opens the fortune cookie, okay. when we come back, he goes, man, have you seen my phone? Uh-huh. And she's like, no, I haven't seen it. And she's like, but you should, you should open your fortune cookie. And he's like, oh, yeah, here, let me get my fortune yeah. cookie. It was up. Sometimes what you're looking for is right beside you. He looks down at his phone beside him in the cushion. He's like, bro! Okay, okay. <laughs> to, make it, to make it even better, you know what would be better? What? He has the girl as his background whenever oh, like he reads sitting. the fortune he gets a text message it lights up and her face is there. And, and he goes oh, oh sometimes wow. what you right beside you <laughs> oh man i knew i felt good about moving <laughs> that's and funny. that's what and she's just like furious but she's smiling but she's furious yeah yeah and then the next one is when she types moving is not in your future yeah so. moving is not in your future <laughs> He draws. This is funny, man. <laughs> Why do we always do like our best episodes are rom coms, dude? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Man, maybe, maybe, maybe we, maybe we, maybe we just need to focus on rom coms. Yeah, yeah. So she's angry. Types moving is not in your future. What does he do when he draws that? He draws that. And it's like moving huh. is not in your future. He's like, whoa, that's weird. That's. I was about to. You know these these things probably aren't real. Right? <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yo, yo. <laughs> this is where we get the sense that he kind of takes them a little he's like, like... He's like... You don't oh, think these things are real, are they? Yeah. And she's like, that's crazy. Dude, man, that's crazy. Yeah. He's nonchalant about it, but we could tell. It's like... He's like, whoa. And that's when she gives the eyes. Like, yeah, that's the plan. It's, it's <laughs> so, working. And so now she knows she really needs to like... Yeah. All right, this next So the next really... one is rethink current relationships. Yeah. He draws that one. It's like... <laughs> These fortune cookies are getting a little dark. Right? Yeah, he's like, aren't they usually more positive than this? Yeah, are they usually more positive than this? I like maybe having like a little, a little back and forth here. Yeah. Because <laughs> okay, okay, thinking structure wise, it's like we missing someone is a choice is the second to last one. After he draws that. I think that's where he's like, you know, I'm choosing my girlfriend. I love her a lot, and we yeah. put a lot into this, and yeah, I'm going to do it. I made the decision. And I'm so moving. that's when, yeah, the fortune cookie gives him a choice, and he makes the other choice. 
So that's when she does like the last one. So yeah, leading up to that, we're starting to think that it's working. Rethink current relationships. I think that's where we see the first like hint of doubt in a while. Yeah. Yeah. So so maybe maybe she's like trying to get conversation going before he draws the cookie on this one. And then, so she's like, hey, so how are you? And what did we name her? The main character? Oh, it was Katie. It was Katie. Katie. The, the long distance. long distance yeah. girlfriend is Katie, yeah. I was like, hey, how are you and Katie? And he's, and he's like, you know, is this when he's pulling rethink current relationships? Yeah, when he's about to. Um, and so he's like, he's like, man, I've been really thinking and I think, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to just move. You know, I've been thinking, I realized I'm thinking way too much. I'm overthinking it. Yeah. I'm done thinking. I'm just going to do it. And then she goes, oh, okay, well, let's open our fortune cookies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, how about we open our fortune cookies now? And then he goes, rethink current Okay, okay. Maybe he's coming from it. I like all that. Maybe we show that he's coming from, he's the type of person that overthinks, overthinks a lot and he doesn't take a lot of action. And even though he is super worried about this decision, he's like, you know what? I'm not going to like put the rest of my life on pause and just wait for things to happen. I'm going to make, I'm going to make a choice. I'm gonna make that's a choice. what I'm doing. And then he opens it up, rethink current relationship. And that's when he just straight up is like, Oh, he's like, he's like Oh my God, maybe oh I'm making a mistake, man. Maybe I'm, and then she's super happy. Cause this yeah. is the most doubtful he's been. Yeah. And he's like, I'm really going to just miss. Um, I'm really just going to miss family, friends, family, I don't know friends. And, and you know, what if I, I have, haven't even known her for that long? I've man. only known her six months. I'm, I'm going to really miss, Wednesday nights watching Riverdale and eating Chinese with you. And she goes, yeah, I'm going to miss that too. And then that way, next week, it sets up missing someone as a choice. Okay. Yo, I can't get over how cool this tapestry is. You see our tapestry, guys? Robert made this himself. Yeah. Hand stitched it. (laughs) Yeah, I did. I did. All right. The next one is actually the new friendships are hard to come by, but I think we're still playing on the same beat. He has stewed in this for a week. He draws that. And then that's where she's like, okay, I got him in the bag. Missing someone is a choice. But maybe he comes in this night and he's actually like kind of happy. It's like, you know what? Me and Katie talked. Yeah. And I think it's going to be okay. (laughs) Yeah. 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 And and he can even say like we talked because he'd mentioned his worry about not making friends. He'd be like, we talked about it, and like she's got a big group of friends, and she said we'll have a like a big housewarming party where I can meet everybody, and you know, make making friends is gonna be okay. And then he opens his fortune cookie and says, making friends is hard to come or new friends is hard to come by. Hey, what if we do this? What if we do this? She thinks she was finished. This time around, she doesn't even do a fortune cookie. Oh, snap. And then he comes in happy. And then that's where we, after his little thing, we just cut to her angry typing, don't move to Arizona. Yeah. We don't have any, like, preface or anything. We just cut to the next week, don't move to Arizona. What? Yeah. Don't move to Arizona. And, and so he knows right then, right? Yeah. And he yeah. goes, he goes, Sabrina, have you been... Wait, no, because we want to do okay, the thing okay. where... But here's what, we, here's what we could do. He draws Don't Move to Arizona. He is so shocked by it. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't even read it. This is the first time he hasn't read one out loud. Yeah. He's it's later in it. the night. She's chilling, making more fortune cookies. She hears a knock on her door. He has come in at like midnight. He's like, hey, I just need to talk to someone about this. Something really weird happened today. <laughs> And she's like frozen and she yeah. looks over and there's a tray of fortune cookies uh-huh. on the kitchen counter. Yeah. And she's just trying her best <laughs> to distract him from looking yeah. at the kitchen cable. And it gets suspenseful. Yeah. And meanwhile, he's like buried his heart. He's like, look, I, I don't know what's going on, but like the fortune cookies have gotten oddly specific this <laughs> this week. And like they have been for a while. But then I drew one today that specifically said, don't move to Arizona. And it's and like, like I'm is... about to move to Arizona. And like, what is this a sign? <laughs> and, then, and then she's like trying her best to like position him away from the yeah, fortune cookies. Yeah. And like maybe without even thinking, mm-hmm. he just turns around and he grabs a fortune cookie and just bunk. Like, you know, like when you're venting and he just puts it in his mouth, he starts chewing on it. And he's like, mm-hmm. and like, what is that? You know, are you making fortune cookies? <laughs> you know, you know what I think it should be. I think 
what she wants more than anything her goal is for all these scenes is to just have her have have him think of her as more than a friend like maybe what it is is he's talking to her really intently she's trying to like position him away mm-hmm. but then they actually start to feel something for each other and she's like just throughout all this like you're really like my best friend i'm so glad to have you maybe they hug and she's so lost in the hug she forgets to like push him away yeah. and of course like when they're hugging now his face is over her shoulder and he can see the fortune cookie yeah and so it's like a really nice moment and she's let her guard down so much because she wants this so much and he walks over he walks over and he goes are you making fortune and he opens one yeah. and it just says i love you <laughs> and he turns around and she just goes please please don't go and that's real sad yeah and then it's an emotional build up mm-hmm. And then he pulls out a gun and he shoots her. <laughs> <laughs> That's the written by That's way, written baby. By way. Okay, no. how are we ending? That? I mean, listen, man, I'm a, I'm a sucker for a happy ending. I yeah. think that they belong together. That being said, if this is a comedy, we can go crazy. You, you know what would be funny <laughs> is if he because again this whole short has just taken place in this house yeah so on a couch really yeah 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 so he sees all the fortune cookies he looks at her computer and sees like a bunch of like drafts of cookies yeah cookie like papers and everything yeah it becomes really clear it's like have you been doing this like yeah look i'm sorry it's just i didn't know how to tell you but i love you or whatever yeah she lays it all out there just cut to a shot of him looking shocked and confused we instantly like cut to her in a restaurant and she's like yeah so that's the craziest thing i did so or she's like yeah so what's the craziest thing you did for a day and then <laughs> we were around, first cut and to- it's a different guy yeah. he's like uh uh and they're in a chinese restaurant they're in the chinese restaurant yeah <laughs> And he just like is like, I need, like to, I need oh. to go to the bathroom. And then he like very clearly walks out the door. <laughs> no, wait, hold on. This is how we end it. <laughs> this is how we end it. This is how we end it. We do all that. And, yeah. and, and she, she goes, so what's the craziest thing you're doing? And he goes, oh, uh, <laughs> nothing, nothing like that. And he opens his fortune cookie and it just says leave or like run <laughs> exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if he opens it? He looks... I'm trying to think of how it works. Like, I'm trying to yeah, imply yeah. that someone that works at the Chinese restaurant has heard this story and they put the message in there. <laughs> so, like, he looks up, or like maybe the waiter just drops some fortune cookies in front of them. He yeah. opens his, he looks up at the waiter. The waiter's like, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's yeah. It. That's it. Oh, man. Wow. I really like that. Yeah, man. This was. What a. What a good start to the season yeah this is kind of like our uh, oddly specific t-shirt a little bit yeah but this one's more rom-com yeah. instead of horror yeah i i don't think i like it a little better i think yeah. it's fun all right like a 20 minute sitcom episode or something good. yeah yeah all right now i just have to i guess stare at you as if i haven't heard this before <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> well that that's what i like about the doing the audio drums is you kind of get to like refine it a little bit more and keep it like concise yeah. to it, to more of a short yeah like every time which one I think is so cool about this podcast is every time yeah. we've been able to like write one of these as a real short film, you right. can listen back to the audio drama and be like, oh, it's pretty just much gotta write that down. Yeah, it's pretty much that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we open on Sabrina and Hiram. Uh, they are hanging out at Sabrina's house in her apartment and they're watching Riverdale. And they ha- both have takeout Chinese, they're halfway through eating it. They're chilling, having a good time, cracking jokes. Sabrina keeps on eyeing Hiram. She's looking at him. 
they're enjoying their time together. Hiram is like, hey, hey, I have something important to tell you. I just, since, since you're such a good friend, I just wanted to let you know that, uh, you know, Katie and I have been talking and we really like each other, but we're just, we're having a really hard time with the long distance thing. And you can see Sabrina's eyes are kind of lighting up a little bit, just like, oh, really now? <laughs> you might break up with your girlfriend, huh? And it's like, yeah, I just don't know if it's something that we could sustain long term. So anyway, it kind of makes me sad, but think about moving to Arizona with her and then she's just got <laughs> you can tell she's like a little disappointed by that she's like uh, oh oh really <laughs> yeah and while she's still in shock uh Hiram has finished his food and just like opens his fortune cookie he's like huh brighter days are ahead of you or something I don't know hey what's your fortune and she's like oh ah, okay okay because she's trying to keep her cool mm -hmm. she opens the fortune and it says you should pursue all love. And he's like, oh, that's interesting. And then that's what you see. She has a little idea. She's looking at the cookies. She's looking at Hiram. We suddenly cut to her in her kitchen. <laughs> and she's googling how to make fortune cookies. She's trying to, like, cook the stuff. She's trying to fold the stuff. And it's never the right consistency. It's never folding into the right shape. She's got a real fortune cookie next to her to compare it with. And it doesn't look great. Meanwhile, she's taking out her craft supplies. And is, like, cutting up paper to, like, format the perfect paper strip. She's got an Adobe Illustrator document ready to go and she manages to cook a successful cookie and we see her typing on her computer she's thinking a lot and he's like uh put a lot of thought into your choices the next wednesday comes they're on their couch eating chinese watching riverdale and she asks him if he's thought about moving more and he's like yeah i i still don't know but honestly i'm i'm leaning towards doing it because like i've lived here my whole life and i don't I, this would be a new experience and I think maybe I should have new experience like that I shouldn't just be in my hometown all this time even though I'd miss everyone I know here and he's like hey why don't why don't we read our fortunes <laughs> <laughs> he opens this up he's like put a lot of thought into your choices wow that's a wow that's deep I guess <laughs> yeah I feel that I gotta put a lot of thought to this choice and what does yours say she's like oh uh, uh, she wasn't expected to be asked this uh the sun shines on the sunniest days. Or something. Yeah, like, the sun shines on interesting. the sunniest days. Interesting. I mean, maybe they don't mean like everything like that. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> we see her typing the next night, next Wednesday. He's talking and he's like, man, I don't know. It's just, I have so many good friends here. And it's like, you don't make friends like this anywhere. I don't know. Like, what if I don't again? And she's kind of smiling a little bit because she knows what the fortune says. <laughs> he opens this up value friendships over anything else. Yeah. It's like, huh. And she's just sighing and like, ah, I've got to where I want him. She's typing really happy one night. The next day, uh, he's looking around. He's like, huh, have you have you seen my phone anywhere? I think I misplaced my phone. He's like, uh, I don't know. Hey, why don't we read our fortunes? He opens his up, still like kind of looking for the phone. He's like, sometimes what you're looking for is right beside you. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Sabrina is beside him. And then we hear a buzz. His phone lights up. It is Katie's face on the phone, and the phone is right beside him. He's like, oh, hey, look, it's right beside me. <laughs> wow, these things are good. And we catch a tight on her face, and she's angry. She's angry typing that night. Next day, he draws a cookie. Moving is not in your future? Huh. He's like, oh, wow, that's very specific. And he's like, yeah, I don't... You don't think these are real, are they? She's like, yeah, no, of course. I mean, maybe <laughs> no, could no, they could. <laughs> She's typing the next night, next time they're hanging out. He's like, ah, I don't know, maybe I'm thinking about this way too much. I'm, I've been overthinking it to the point that like I always do. It's like, you know what, I just, I, I want to I wanna just do something with my life. I want to make a choice. I want to take a risk. He opens the fortune cookie. <laughs> rethink current relationships <laughs> his heart just kind of sinks and you can tell he's like oh this isn't helping the overthinking yeah. she's just looking at him anyway 
they're talking again the next week. It's like, maybe I'm making a mistake. I mean, I'm really gonna miss family, friends. I never like left here and I like here and like, I'll miss our friendship. You're like my best friend. And if I, if I can't keep up my girlfriend long distance, how am I gonna keep up my friendships long distance or whatever? He opens a fortune cookie. New friendships are hard to come by. <laughs> oh no. She's typing next week. It's like, ah, I don't know. It's like, I'll say this much. Like, if I do move, I'll really miss just watching Riverdale every Wednesday night, eating Chinese with you. These are, these are some of the best times of my life, just right here. And you could tell she's like, oh, oh, maybe he, he likes me like I like him or whatever. He draws a fortune cookie. Missing someone is a choice. It's like, huh? And he just lets that stew for a little bit. Anyway, the next week, they're hanging out. The night before, she was about to type. She's like, you know what? I don't need this. I got him. I'm not doing a fake fortune cookie this time around. Yeah. They're hanging out. He's got an untampered with fortune cookie. And he looks so happy. And it's like, you know what? Me and Katie had a long conversation. <laughs> and you know what? I think I'm going to be okay. It's like she has a big group of friends. And I've talked a little to them. And they, we seem to have like a lot in common. <laughs> We're going to have this big like housewarming party when I get there. And I just, I think I psyched myself up a little too much. And like, <laughs> I love Katie. Like, I cannot overstate how much I love Katie. <laughs> and I think true love conquers all. And that's what we have. We have true love. Yeah, boy. And she's just sitting there stewing. She is <laughs> like, oh no. And he, <laughs> that night, she is typing super angry. She's banging on the keyboard and we just see in all caps, don't move to Arizona on <laughs> the monitor. The next time they're hanging out, he opens the fortune cookie. He doesn't read it out loud. He just looks at it. He's like, oh. And then she's looking, because she knows what it says, but she's trying not to act like she knows what she's what it says. Anyway, that night, she's working on what the next fortune cookie is going to be. She has a whole new batch of fortune cookies she's cooked. <laughs> she has, like, all the wrappers laid out, and <laughs> she's at the computer. She's typing. There have been a lot of drafts of other fortunes that haven't made it, and they are just strewn across <laughs> her desk. The trash can is filled to the brim with unused fortunes. <laughs> Here's a big knock on the door, like pounding. She's like, oh, oh, what is that? She opens the door. It's Hiram. And he's like, OK, OK. I'm just I'm a little freaked out right now. I, just, I, I need someone to talk to you. Something crazy happened today. She's like, oh, what is it? Meanwhile, she's eyeing her surroundings. All the <laughs> fortune cookie stuff is everywhere. He's trying her best to block it, block his view of it. But he doesn't know the difference because he's so caught up. And he's like, OK, so like the fortune cookies recently have to, like started to get like oddly specific. But like there was one crazy one today. I opened it and it just said, don't move to Arizona. <laughs> And like what what are the chances of that cuz i'm moving to arizona and it, it said don't and I, is this some sort of sign is uh, should i sh not move to arizona i don't, i'm freaking out i'm like this has been the hardest decision <laughs> and to make my whole life and he's moving frantically and she's doing her best to like move with him to block it it's like i don't know i mean <laughs> you know, maybe it is a sign. Maybe fate is a real thing. Maybe if you are having a hard time with decision, you just need to open yourself up to the universe and the universe will give you a sign. Maybe this is a sign. He's, he's calming down a little bit. He's like, okay, maybe I just, you know, you know, I think this might be a sign because throughout the whole thing, I was just thinking like how much I would miss this town and like, especially how much I would miss you. Like, We've been friends so long, and I don't want to damage that relationship. Like, you've always been there for my life, like since preschool, and I don't, I don't know what life is like without you in it all the time. And they're just kind of looking at each other, and she's like, "Yeah, I, I feel the same way about you." And he goes in for a hug, and the music swelling, and you could tell that she's like, "Oh, this guy, I've got him where I want him." When this hug is over, I'ma tell him how I feel. But then of course when they hug, 
<laughs> his face goes over her shoulder. <laughs> his eyes are closed at first, but then he opens them. And he sees it that this is all the fortune cookie stuff. He's like, wait, what is that? We cut to her face. Her eyes get wide. She's like, oh, I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> he lets go of the hug. He walks into the apartment. He sees all the fortune cookies that she baked <laughs> laid out. He walks over to the desk and sees a bunch of different fortunes. He's like, Sabrina, what is this? What a, have you been doing the fortune cookies? <laughs> and she's like, okay, I'm really sorry, but he's like, what? This is psycho. This is great. How long have you been doing this? He's like, um, <laughs> You know, I was thinking about this doing this. This is a span over like six, eight weeks or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, just like three months. Uh, three months. <laughs> it's like, look, OK, I know it's great, but I, I only did it because of how much I love you. And like, I've been scared to say it, but I love you. Do you love me, too? And he's just looking at her and he's freaked out. He's like, do you love me, too? <laughs> And then we just see a close-up of his face. He doesn't know what to think. And we instantly cut to, she is sitting in a Chinese restaurant, just looking straight ahead. And she's like, yeah, so what's the craziest thing you ever did for love? And we just <laughs> cut to someone on the other side of the table. It's just a completely new guy. And he looks just terrified, confused. She's like, oh. I don't know what I got myself into. And he's like, um, yeah, uh, nothing like that. Nothing like that <laughs> at all. Uh, wow, I'm going to have to think about that one. I don't know if I've really ever done something crazy. Like, <laughs> and then the <laughs> dude that works at the Chinese restaurant, he plops two fortune cookies in front of them as a way to, like, kind of avoid the conversation. He opens it up. He looks at the fortune <laughs> and it just says, leave. In all caps, he looks up at the person that works at the Chinese restaurant, and he's giving him eyes back like, leave, leave. <laughs> and he's like, uh, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. And then he very clearly does not go to the bathroom. He goes like out the door. <laughs> he cut to Sabrina, just <laughs> looking dejected. That's where he cut to black. Nice, dude. You ready for the name? I'm ready for the name. What's the name? Good Fortune. Perfect. Yeah. Love it. And thank you for listening to that episode of Written By. Guys, this is the outro. We, uh, this is the up to date part. Yeah. As of the nature of the show, we have to record episodes yeah. very far in advance. But now we got this little segment where we could talk to y'all up to date. So, hey, we got a lot going on, Rob. We do. We've been killing man. it this year so far, man. Yeah. What, uh, what do we need to update people about? Um, let's see. At this point, today is Sunday. You're watching this tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about where we are with Troubled Date, which we've been talking oh, about man. since last season, the start of season two. Yeah, guys, Troubled Date is like 90% done and it's incredible. We, uh, we parted ways with our composer. No yes. ill will. He just has like a lot of other things going on. So we have a new guy doing yep. the score. We're waiting on that to be done, but it's still coming out. Yes. And it kills us so much that it's not out because we're both really proud of it. Yeah, it's but. really great. Um, so that'll be out relatively soon. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, we've already started working on the next thing, which we announced. Yeah, we announced at the end of last season, we're doing- Undeserted. Undeserted, short yeah. film based on that episode. Um, that we're hopefully be shooting this month. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we just have one or two things that need to line up, but we're really hoping to get that done this month. We almost shot it back in January, but yeah. we both had some really great offers for other work, and we decided to do yeah, that. Yeah, you you directed, you got some paid directing work. Yep, and you don't have to say what it is. Uh, yeah, I I got a really cool music video that'll hopefully be out in a month, and yeah. I got I got a gig doing some comedy sketches for an organization, so that was cool. And then I did a movie. Um, 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> but we've been busy. I mean, that's not just it. You got your first <laughs> role in an actual feature film. That's yeah. not nothing. Yeah, no, that's really exciting. I'm super pumped. I don't know when it's going to come out, though. Like, <laughs> that's I, true. Yeah. That's the thing about like not being attached to a project other than just as an actor is like I have no oh, yeah. idea. Yeah. Dude, we're also we're in a new studio. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you can't tell, under construction. Exactly. Uh, yeah. We're at my house. Or yeah, my house. You, you pointed out that most people they start in a studio and then <laughs> no, they start, they start in a home. house that they go to a studio. We've reverted backwards because this actually works out better than us sharing a studio space. Uh-huh. Um, uh huh. There, there's one more really cool announcement. Yes, we have. We posted about it a little on our Instagram, but we both had the opportunity to be a part of a really cool short film that. We didn't write or direct, but we did a lot of other stuff on it, and yeah. we're we're both really proud of it. We pretty much pulled it together, shot and edited, sound design, all of that in like one week. Yeah, even the pre-production stuff. It was all within two week period. Yeah. Robert uh, helped produce it. He did a ton of the editing and and sound and and all kinds of crazy stuff and chase is one of the lead characters he's yeah, acted in it you know, yeah man. hey and you know i i think it might be my best performance yet honestly i i think i would agree with you i think i would agree with you on that i really enjoyed it man it's, it's a super great script our buddy gunner who it he at this be- point is not been on he, he's gonna be our guest in season three so just look out for that yeah man we have a great episode we recorded with gutter yeah he's he's been a friend of ours for a while and we're finally it's our first time like really doing a short with him and yeah, it's been amazing cool. yeah yeah it's, but the uh, the short film it's a it's a sci-fi horror thriller that's set on new year's eve 1999 yeah so there's some y2k stuff going down it's really fun and it is part of this competition. It's put on by Musicbed. It's mm-hmm. a film competition, and it's up for some really cool prizes. Yeah. We haven't released the film on our own, but there's a voting component to this competition. So in about a week... Uh, of this episode's release. Yeah. Next Tuesday, as of this episode's release, voting will start on that, and you guys will be able to watch the current cut. Yeah. We might not leave the film on we we might do some additional edits after the competition if we don't win but uh so you guys like worst case scenario might only have a two-week period to watch what it is right now and i highly recommend you do that and yeah, also and vote vote yeah yeah, yeah. We, we in our award era right now by the time this <laughs> has come out this episode we've either won an award last night or not yeah yeah uh chase's music video is up for a local <laughs> music award so <laughs> Yeah, Robert directed that. You can find that on our Instagrams or whatever. Um, Is that everything, man? Yeah, that's all the stuff going on. We have so much stuff. Yeah. Guys, Skate Away 99. Great film. Written by boys are all over that. Written by boys. Produced it. Hey, this season, by the way, thank you for listening to the first episode of season three. This season already is going to be a killer Guys, one, we've man. been on something else this season. It, I... I, every time we say we're going to step it up, but I was like, oh, I don't know how much we step it but up. But we, we really two. have. Yeah. And that's not us being cocky. That's just <laughs> spitting facts, baby. Yeah. That's, man, compared to compared to season mm. two, I'm like, what are we, we have these dope written yeah. by mugs, which you haven't seen yet. Because we didn't get them till after like the fourth episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, and finally, these are all the people yep. that help make written by. First of all, if you want to submit a story topic that goes into our new listener bowl that we'll be drawing from every mm-hmm. month. So every month we're guaranteed to draw at least one listener suggestion and it could be yours. Email all your story topics to written by podcast at gmail.com or DM them on Instagram. We could do them there too. And if you want bonus, so if you subscribe to our Patreon, which link is below, you can actually get your suggestion into the listener bowl three times. Yeah, so you have a higher likelihood, higher likelihood of getting picked. Of getting picked. Yeah. You also get other stuff. That's not just it, but. Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyway, our cover art, which you now see on this beautiful tapestry, was designed by Taylor Logry. Yeah, boy. Our theme song was produced by myself and Andrew Simmons. Yeah, boy. You can find him at Music by Drew. Uh, make sure to subscribe, share anything helps with us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're still yes. growing that, but 
Uh, we've had so much fun doing video now. We do some really fun things with it later on in the season. So if you aren't subbed to the YouTube channel, yeah. go ahead and head over I'll there. I'll give you a hint. Robert has a PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this episode. Guys, thank you so much. Follow our Instagram, our TikTok, at Written by Pod. We'll see you next week. Love it. Man. Hey, man. thank you guys. This is season three of Written By. Yeah. Uh, just reiterated our announcements from earlier. Patreon is live. Patreon has actually been live for a while, but if yeah. you need the reminder, links in the description. Just a $5 tier. Uh, we're not trying to push it too hard. So mm. if you don't got money, I get it. We don't either. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we have a Patreon. <laughs> Uh, hey, if you have a suggestion for the bowl, uh, you can either, of course, join the Patreon where you get priority, or you can email us at written, or not at, <laughs> written by podcast at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. We love getting the emails from you guys. Um, that will go into the, the listener bowl. Um, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, um, 
I think that's it. Social media wise, Instagram, yeah, Twitter, yeah, yeah. Instagram, at written by Pod. Yep. Oh, and TikTok, and TikTok. Yeah, we got stuff everywhere. Instagram is the best way to follow us to stay yeah. up to date on everything we're doing. But we're posting everywhere. We're posting on the Twitter, posting mm. on the TikTok. And our YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. YouTube. Follow us on YouTube. Written by podcast. Or subscribe. Hey, yep. yeah. Guys, we got so much fun stuff planned for this season. We've been having a ton of fun. Thank you guys for listening. I mean, this is three. We've been doing this. This is our third year. The third year. That's yeah. That's crazy, man. Like, in, in this three years, like, I graduated college. Uh-huh. You've, like, gone from where you were at the beginning to... Yeah. <laughs> I have like, aged. <laughs> you have, no, I had something the to go, but... The passage of time. It occurred has... to me that I was starting to, like, you know, you started, and then now you're... <laughs> no. Like, <laughs> you know, think about where you started, like, career-wise, and yeah. then now where you are now totally. career-wise. We've done several short films in that time period. You guys have yep. been there when we wrote short films, and then we've actually produced them and released them. Yep. You're about to watch it again. Undeserted yeah. is going super well. Hopefully, we'll, by the time this episode comes out, we either will have had shot it or we'll be about to shoot, about to shoot it. Shoot so, it. so uh, yeah, thank you guys for listening. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Robert. That's Chase. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at Robert two underscores Isaac. Chase is at Chase Bridges two underscores. Cover art designed by Taylor Logrie. And yeah. uh, I did this little recoloring. It was yeah. it was cool because like I usually have to like look up a style guide or something, but I just picked random colors and the first ones yeah, I worked. picked worked. So yeah, yeah. Uh, logo by Taylor Lockery. You can follow yeah. our Taylor Lockery. Our designs. music, uh, our theme song was produced by myself and Andrew Simmons, and then all yeah, the cool like in between music. I, I just did that myself. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> like, I'm kind of I'm kind of a producer now. Well, he's so a, he's a <laughs> award nominated director too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Chase is an Upstate Music Award <laughs> nominated artist. <laughs> <laughs> and we aren't going to shut up about that. No, no. And yeah, uh, we mentioned the email. Also send in rival pitch suggestions. Next yes. week, we will be coming at you with a rival, rival pitch pitches. episode. Also, if you've stuck around, uh, we're going to talk about this more. But for bowl suggestions, don't put any franchises. Don't yeah. put any like established movie characters. The closest you could get is if it's something classic like a Frankenstein or something. We'll do that. But right franchises like so, star wars superheroes character like walter white you would put stuff like that in rival pitches yeah, rival yeah. pitches is where we try to pitch on existing stuff yeah, we try and we want movie. yeah we yeah. want the bowl stuff to be wholly original ideas so yeah. that's the difference between the two but email both those ideas at Rin- or written, written by, by podcast, podcast at gmail.com. gmail.com. Yeah, it's it's been a little bit. We were a little rusty now. <laughs> hey, that's all right, man. Hey, yeah. this was a ton of fun. Um, exactly. Yeah. And I, I think there's only one way to really end it. How do we end written it? Written by. Written by podcast. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>